Hello YouTube, David T here, bringing you another video. In today's video, I'll be telling you about the uh, DualSense 5 controller, the PS5 controller, and why you shouldn't buy one for PC if you were thinking of getting one to play PC games with. Um, firstly, there's a high case of DualSense Drift. The number one reason not to get it is DualSense Drift. Um, since the second day of launch, the, the DualSense controllers, a lot of them, have been drifting straight out of the box. You know, guys, it's been happening since the second day. And it's getting worse and worse. There's already lawsuits for them after three months on the market, you know, guys. And yeah, this is my first reason why... I don't recommend getting a DualSense controller for your PS5. If you watched uh, one of my recent videos, you would have seen that the, the, the repair fee, the shipping fee to get the DualSense fixed is absolutely ridiculous. Um, some people are paying up to $20 to get them, them fixed by Sony. So this is why I don't want you guys to waste... 60 70 dollars on a dual sense controller for your pc the second reason is they're very flimsy the trigger buttons the analog trick the, the adaptive trigger buttons sorry are known to break quite easily a lot of them have broken and a lot of complaints are about them being loose and unresponsive you know guys there's a lot of complaints about that the last one is that the circle button sticks as well, is known to stick. So there's three reasons why you, you shouldn't invest in a DualSense controller for your PC. Um, the better controllers are the Xbox controller and the uh, Pro controller from Nintendo. I would recommend those controllers as they don't have as many problems as the uh, DualSense controller for the PS5. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. This is David T, logging out.